This is RC Motorhome's latest vehicle. This is an RC 8M. Now this is based around their successful RC 9M, but it's shorter. It's an eight meter vehicle, as the name suggests. And the reason for this, well, there's several reasons really. There's some customer demand for reducing the gross train length. If you have a trailer, a lot of these are used for motorsports. So you might be towing a vehicle behind it and uh, wanted to keep the length down. Also maybe parking at home or campsite restrictions, all that kind of stuff. There was just some demand for a shorter vehicle that gave you the same benefits and facilities of the larger 9M. Now they've lost the length actually in the wheelbase, which makes it a little bit more maneuverable, but they've kept all of the same kind of facilities. So for example, if you take a wander around the outside, first of all, so that one there is your outside uh, television, obviously, and you've also got your Sonos system, so your Sonos speakers are down underneath there. This actually will hinge out as well. You can bring it out, so if you've got your awning out and you're sat here, it can face over that way. And if we carry on around a bit further, other things we've got, that's a table in there like so. That one is actually for a barbecue. You can plug in a barbecue straight to that and it's got LPG tanks actually built into the vehicle. And if we come back to here, this one is the garage. Now this one's set up for motorcycles. So you've actually got, you can see where the wheels go in over there. Other things we've got in here, these are for the awning, supports for the awning. You've also got these sections here, which allow you to put uh, tie downs in so you can secure the load in there. And if we go on in, that one flips over just so you can avoid scratching anything. And we come right into here then, we've got things like the inverter lives in there and charger. This one here takes us into the battery systems and some of the plumbing systems are in there as well. And if we come back a bit further, we've got um, 240 volt power into here. We've got heating into here as well. Bit of storage for things like the 240 volt lead and other bits and pieces. That's actually a shower, that one there. And then a bit more storage there. That can be a laundry chute. You can connect that up to the toilet compartment and have your laundry go down there if you want this owner chose not to. This one's about to go out actually, it's waiting for its owner to come and pick it up. So we're just getting a tour in before it goes. That one up there is a compressor. So you've actually got a um, compressor on board as well. Let's fold that one back up, shut that one down. There we go. And we'll take a wander on around the back. Tow bar on this one. Also, this is rather neat. It's got an illuminated RC motorhome sign and that one right at the top is the camera system. In fact, there is surround cameras on this. So there are, if we come around this side, we see it a bit easier actually. But you've got cameras up on the side and also on the front. And in fact, if you signal left, that camera comes in and gives you a display at the driving position. And that means you can look out for any bikes or anything that come down the inside of you. Set on around this side. Now there's a slide out on this one, which is out at the moment, as you can see. Other things we've got down this side then, there's a generator on this one. So that is the petrol for the generator. It's a Dometic generator. That one is the shower. That's where the shower plugs into. That one's your water filler. And that there is the slide out, the benefit of which we will see, of course, when we go inside. If we go up a little bit further, generator lives in there. And then this one, these are all on central locking, by the way. So when you lock the vehicle, all of these lock at the same time. I need two hands for this one, hang on. So in here, there's a big storage area. It goes right across the whole vehicle that's illuminated and also heated. So again, things like helmets and gloves and all that sort of stuff. We've been out motocross riding. You can put your stuff in here and the heater there will dry everything out for you. And underneath here, that is the pressure wash system. You can see, and also the uh, self-leveling jacks are in here as well. Or well, the, the hydraulic system for the self-leveling jacks, I should say, are in there. So when the vehicle stops, you can instigate self-leveling. I'll show you the control for that when we go inside. So that is that, we'll come right on around. Based on an Iveco, it's got the 210 horsepower engine. It's actually a three litre twin turbo underneath there. And that's the camera on the front. So as I say, you do get a complete 360 view through the camera system. But it's the inside as ever that is particularly appealing. So we'll head on in. Now these are all built to owner specification. So they never build these for stock. 
so everything is spec'd up exactly how an owner wants it. There's keypad entry, so again, if you're at a racetrack, lots of people are using it, you can keep the vehicle secure, but as many people as you like can access it. If we push that, it'll light up. And if we push it again on that one, we've got a step that rolls out like so. And in we go. Now, straight away, there are good things to show you. So this one, for example, I'll slip my shoes off because it is brand spanking new. This one is the self-leveling system. And what's nice about this, it has got an auto system, so you can just hit that and it will level the vehicle completely. But if you want to do it manually, you can do. And that will actually flip right out so that you can take that around the outside as you're controlling it and just get it exactly how you like it. Pop that back. That one is the control for the generator, so the start stop for the generator. That is a, um, a wireless charger. You pop a phone on there and it inductively charges it. Sonar system in here again and a 32 inch TV. It's currently showing the display system. It actually links up to this fella up here and you can set it to display whatever you want. Now this is the control system for the vehicle. So in here we can go into heating and hot water modes like this. We can come back out of there. We can go into tank levels, all that kind of stuff. But the reason, you might think, well, why would you want that linked up to your TV? The reason that this is linked up to the TV is because if we do this and hit this, then this also takes us into things like Netflix and news and all that kind of stuff. And that, of course, then links through HDMI to this. You can see it's now displaying what's on here now. And that means that you can use this as a web browser. We can go into, for example, if we go into that one there, Look at that, we're watching Motorholic, and there is the, uh, the RC9. That's the other tour that we did behind this advert. Anyway, let's stop that if we can. There we go. Anyway, let's have a look at the whole vehicle. Now, this is how it looks with the slide out out, but I have got a bit of video of the slide out in because people are curious to see how that looks, and hopefully now, <laughs> if my video editing is working, you'll be looking at it and you'll see that you've still got plenty of space for the slide out in. But, obviously you power it out when you're stopped and you've got acres more space. Now there's a huge amount of adaptability with this. The previous options on this were to have, basically, as it is now, this is the most popular layout. So you've got a great social area, there's a table that goes in here, we'll look at that in a moment. And it converts to a bed as well. But you've only got seat belts for two people, so when the vehicle's being driven, you've only got two people who can be actually in the vehicle at the time. So there was an option for an L-shaped seat here. That gave you seat belts here facing forward. So then you could travel with four people in the vehicle, but it rather compromised this area from a more social standpoint. Also got in the way of the TV a little bit. So they've come up with a really genius idea on the basis for this owner that normally it is just the two of them, but they want occasional ability to carry two more people. There are chairs underneath here that rise out and they're proper seat belts, three point seat belts, and that gives you the proper capacity then for traveling with more people. And in fact, if you want another option is to have another one that comes out of the floor here. So you can have three seats all together across here, all at the same level. So there's lots of options that you can do you can configure the vehicle to how you use it. If we go on a bit further forward, there is a double bed up here, that ladder there slots in to give you obviously access up to it and in fact you can tilt this all up out of the way if you want to and another thing that we can see here is the table so that table there that's one section that will go in here just as like a coffee table then there's a second section exactly the same clips to it goes into this one and that makes into a big dining table so depending on how you want to use it that's how you can configure that. And the other thing to mention, just so I remember, is the fact that there are infills that go right across this. So you can make this into a huge bed if you want to. There's a permanent uh, double bed in the vehicle anyway, but then for additional sleeping, you've got that if you want it. This whole thing will lift up. You need to move those of the cushions that go, the infill cushions are here. If you take those out, then you can tilt this right up to give you better access into the cab. But in fact, it's really easy to just drop down and into here anyway. Let's have a seat here. We've got suspension seats in this one. There's also air suspension at the rear as well. So really good ride. And of course it adjusts depending on your load and all that kind of stuff. There's automatic transmission on this, which is brilliant. That one there is your entertainment and navigation. And that one there is what displays the camera images. So your 360 view or your reversing camera, 
or whatever else. And then of course, as you'd expect, you've got cruise control and air conditioning and all the usual bits and pieces that you'd expect to find in a vehicle like this. And these seats, of course, all custom trimmed with the RC logos and the armrests that drop down. Very nice indeed, very nice. Let's head on back, still plenty more to see. So we'll come back here. These windows, of course, all open and there's blinds that come across these as well. Uh, the sonar system in here, so you've got speakers dotted around the place. If we look up here, this is showing us things like there's an emergency awning handle. It's a powered awning, but you can wind it in manually if you ever needed to. You've also got a Wi-Fi system in here all that kind of stuff so that's what that fella over there is for oh that one there i should point out as well there is a satellite dish on the roof that folds away and it's an 85 centimeter one normally these are 40 centimeters and that means that wherever you are in europe pretty much you can still pick up satellite tv back to the next one and in here you've got 240 volt breakers in there and in fact talking of electrics if we come back a bit further this display that we were looking at before we can open this one and that's giving us manual switching for everything. So step out, step in, awning out and in, the slide, all of that kind of stuff. So if for some reason the main panel, because mostly this is operated from this panel up here, if we go back into that one there, that's where it all is, you can see on here, um, then it gives you that backup. So you've still got manual control over everything. Another thing I didn't mention, in fact, you've got solar power on here as well. So on the roof there are solar panels. And if we go into here, you can see all the yield and what's coming in and what's coming out. All that kind of stuff, all controlled from here. Heating and hot water is on here. The whole darn lot. What else can I show you? Well, there's plenty more to see. If we come around onto this side, this is all storage up in behind here. Like so. Some really nice trim in here as well. I love this sort of carbon effect that they put on here. And this color scheme with these silver panels and so on. Again, all owner specifications. So if you wanted something a bit different, then you could have it. But this looks very, very nice indeed. There's a powered opening roof up above us. This has got blinds that come across it. So that's like a bug screen going that way. And then you've got a proper night screen. If we put it that way. And then further back again, and we have got the actual galley area or kitchen area. Now, this is one of the areas where going to an eight meter, you lose a little bit of space. So, for example, um, you've got the fridge there on the nine. You've also got then a bit of storage next to it. And the workspace, I think, on the nine is a little bit bigger. So inevitably, you're going to lose a little bit of space, but they've lost it here. And to be honest, you don't really feel it unless you actually went back to back with these. You wouldn't really see the difference. Um, storage dotted around the place. Up in places like this, there's deep lockers that come right back here. There's um, extractor fan down underneath there. This is quite neat. You've got the sink underneath here, but what you can do with this is pull this one out, he says. <laughs> Let's push the button first. There we go. And that is designed that that can drop into there. And obviously, as I say, you do lose a little bit of workspace, but that means you can get a bit back. There we go. And that just increases your workspace in the kitchen. Let's drop that one back again. It's induction hob and it's also a combination oven and microwave and grills for the whole lot all down there. There's more storage then, as you'd expect, big drawers like this. That one there is your cutlery drawer. Let's clip those back shut again. And then that one there is your fridge freezer. So just the usual kind of stuff, fridge there, freezer underneath. Okay, let's head on back a little bit further. This is quite nice. They put a bit of storage in here. You can have this, again, it's very much owner specification. You can have this accessed from here, like so, but also because the garage is in behind there, if you prefer, you can have that blanked off and have it as accessed from the garage if you need more space in there. Another thing that this owner's gone for, it's not standard, but this owner's decided to opt for it, is this door. It's a privacy door, so you can completely close off that section of the vehicle. Great, of course, if you've got, um, maybe you've got grandkids coming with you and they're sleeping up here in the front and you just want a bit more privacy, that will give you that. If we come back here, this is all exactly the same as the RC9M. 
so you've got the full size double bed in there you've got the storage up in places like this there's a hanging locker for example drawers down underneath here all the bedding is in there at the moment and again all very nicely appointed and you've got the opening skylight up above with the blinds that come across it you've got the window as well of course and there's tv in here as well so that's all of that some nice lighting in here i really like the way they've done all this that looks really good and if we head on back again then the last thing is the um the toilet the bathroom that's in here again you've lost a little bit of space for so the actual footprint here is a bit smaller although perfectly good but the shower is exactly the same size so where you really need it you don't lose it so that's in there let's open that one up shall we yeah there we go with a logo on it and it's a rainfall shower very nice extractor fan in there as well which is brilliant of course let's shut that one and clip that back again the finishes in here details like this just all look so nice and then there's a bit of storage up in behind here and this is where you can have that laundry chute remember i mentioned that area that's used the storage on this one but you can have uh, an opening so you can drop your laundry straight in and then you can retrieve it out of the garage the only to mention in here is this is actually a macerator toilet with a holding tank so it's not like your normal um, cassette toilet that you get on typical motorhomes this is the proper thing with a separate holding tank on it and then there are drains for that so you can take it and and obviously put it over in accessing a sewage and drain it and it's the same with water tanks and all that kind of stuff they've all got drains on them and uh, it means you can flush them through and so forth so there we go i think that's a fairly comprehensive tour i don't think there's anything i missed normally i watch these videos back later and think i never mentioned that but I think we've covered it. I think we've covered it well. So let's go down here. I think this is as good a place as any to finish up on this very comfortable driving seat. And I'm going to say huge thanks to RC Motorhomes for letting me come and have a look at this one and give you guys a tour. And a huge congratulations to the new owner. As I say, they're on their way to pick this one up. So this one will be going out very shortly. And of course, massive thanks to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this one. And we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.